Okay, okay. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. Trade six hundred with a niggas who run it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. You know what I'm saying? And him and OG Percy been going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Back and forth, back and forth. And guess what? He did. He took TT Knight to court. Uh, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday? And uh, I think this is going to be a good one. I didn't get a chance to see it. So we're going we gonna to react to it. And we're going to see what OG Percy talking about. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to it, man. Let's go. What's right? Let y'all know. Uh -huh. What he in here for? First thing, you have the right to remain oh, silent. Let me break this down. This is court. Everybody, everybody in here been to court. I don't know. Maybe I think all y'all niggas been to court. Y'all look like some troublemakers. But everybody been in. I think everybody in here been to court, right? So you know, OG Percy holds court on anybody that he might see be seeing that does something good or bad. You know what I mean? He hold court on. He break down the situation. He give his spin on it, and so. T.T. Naughty is in O.G. Percy Court. Let's get it. On this internet. Because anything you say can and will be used against you in the <laughs> O.G. Percy Court on the internet. <laughs> you have a right to an attorney. Uh, and if you don't have one, uh, you can find you a spiritual one or you can find you a physical one. It don't matter. Whichever one you think gonna work best for you. Half y'all want a physical attorney. Then when you get in there and get in jail, you want a spiritual one. Hello! Woo bars. Oh bars. Oh, he, he dropping them jewels this early this morning. He say half the time when you in court, you when you in there, you want a physical one, but when you get behind them bars, you want a spiritual one. Hey man, that hit <laughs> that definitely hit. Uh -huh. Well, hit them with one God. Half y'all want us physical. Everybody gonna pay for the physical. I won't give God a dime. But let's go, God. God damn it. I saw it, it, it slipped. It slipped on a, on a Wednesday. Let's go, God. He dropped, he dropped him early this morning. Say, man, listen, man. Uh, God damn. That was fire, y'all. I'm sorry. Sometimes I got to listen to myself. Sometimes I, 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 I scare myself when I talk. I had to go back and look at all the interviews because I don't know what I be saying when I be talking on these things. I let God do all the speaking through me so I won't mislead nobody. T.T. Naughty got some, some legit some legit shit on this type. I hate to... I, I, that's why p Dog is mad right yet. p Dog mad right now, y'all, because T.T. Uh, Naughty got a... Uh, uh, no. We, 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 we cleaned out the tile box and we found an envelope with TT Naughty number. Um, um, he had um, he he paid he paid some of his tithes to daddy. He paid some of his tithes to daddy. P dog man, P dog swore the nigga ran off. I did too. Matter of fact, we know we, we once again he's talking about uh paying back, you know what I'm saying, to, to his father, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really understand what that was, but I definitely understand it now. Well, he don't, he don't we know when you run out, but we know when daddy catch you. You know what, you know, you know, when somebody get caught sometime, they, they know it was a story somewhere in one of these cities, I don't know if it was Detroit, where somebody had mailed a finger in the mailbox, you know, they mailed a finger in the mailbox to somebody to let them know about the little man being killed, they killed little man, the uncle had got in, the own uncle of the family, I, and I, I did my investigation, something like that. So um, like paid in full. Anyway, it's, it's this is a similar thing. Uh, you know, when daddy gets you, he's just gonna hold you hostage. Is anybody keeping up with these balls in between the lines while I'm fishing? When daddy gets you, he's just gonna hold you hostage. And he won't see if anybody gonna pay their bun. Anybody gonna send you some ransom, nigga. He won't see if anybody gonna send some ransom for you, nigga. What is you worth, nigga? When you know what you worth, nigga, and you run around here doing what you're doing, nigga, did somebody snatch you off the streets and kidnap you and hold you for ransom? Somebody gotta pay for you. 
famous famous Drake words. I gotta watch my back. I'm not just anybody. We gotta realize that when you got a purpose on your life, you gotta move different. You gotta not do the same things that you you know what I'm saying you was doing before because you you know you got that purpose on you. And so everybody, I think, need to realize that you know find that purpose, and then once you get it, you know what I'm saying, guard it and keep it because life's so fickle and everything can you know go away so fast. So I don't know if y'all keeping up with me. Maybe I'm losing a lot of y'all today. But y'all know if you listen to Percy, you gotta listen to the balls in between the lines while I'm fishing. Cause I'm gonna catch somebody. Yeah, my station ain't for everybody. You got some niggas. You got some niggas. Um you got some niggas. Yeah, some niggas, you know what I'm saying? Me cuz can you can you send um can you help pay? Now hell no, I ain't help you that nigga no ransom, man. What y'all gonna do? Let somebody kill him? They say if y'all don't pay, he gonna get killed. If y'all don't pay for TT Naughty Ransom, he gonna die. And we ain't talking a physical. We ain't talking a physical. So you know what? When you when you fight in the physical, I gotta teach y'all how to fight these games. This is not chess. This is this is spiritual warfare. Chess is a physical physical war. When you fight in the spiritual world, you got to pay attention to the shit you can't see. I know y'all don't never get there because none of y'all never pay attention to nothing you can't see. If you can see it, it makes sense. If you don't see it, I don't believe it. You know how the game goes. Y'all know how life is. But daddy said, Naughty paid some of his money. He paid, he paid some tithe. Somebody sent a little ransom. Somebody sent him a little ransom. But let me tell y'all who paying the ransom. The people that's paying the ransom is the people that live on the inside of you. Let's go. Mm -hmm. The people that pay the ransom is the people that live on the inside of y'all that I tell y'all that you don't know nothing about. You know, the inner you. A lot of you people just think it's just you and one body. I tell you niggas, some people living in your body, you're not the only one living this physical, in this flesh, nigga. Uh. And, I, and I show y'all how I know, because I, I ain't no psychiatrist. I ain't, no, I ain't got no, you know, but, but I can tell you. I, I didn't watch them live in her. I didn't, I didn't watch them live in this body. She, and I watched them live in everybody else's body. And the only person that can pay TT naughty ransom is the people that live in him. None of y'all can do it in a physical form. You can't go get a go. So basically he's saying you yourself, you know what I'm saying? The inner you, that's the only thing, that's something that can fix it. You got to change the inner you, you know? Well, he's he dropping some shows this morning, man. Oh, shit, phone. You can send out a couple of arms. Um, <laughs> Support letters. Hello. Did I catch somebody on that one? Boy, hey, how you do that? A couple of prayers. You said a couple of prayers up for him. Boy, got a couple of support letters. Boy, God, boy. Well, he lucky he got Percy today. Yeah. Man, I just got his God. Dang, yep, that's him. My spirit just agreed. You sent out a couple of support letters, and that's a couple of prayers up for him to see if you can help the man get right. Or you can continue. Y'all notice me, I'm a fur nigga. Listen. I don't believe nothing on that internet about you. I don't care about what nobody say about me. I know I did my job as a real broadcaster. I know when, when Rollo screamed my name and told me, PC, I love you, this, when D Baby stood up there, he still my brother. Come on, man, ain't nobody listening to you, crowd nigga. You can't go get nail one of these niggas on the phone. Half the time, y'all can't even get hate on the phone. Stop playing. Stop playing with y'all self. Y'all live in the fantasy world, homie. Straight up, man. Ain't nobody respecting what y'all doing. So who? Niggas in the hood? Is this what y'all doing it for? My niggas just go live on Facebook. Save people's time, bro. Because they all got fucking... That nigga going out. He's he not talking about me. He talking about, he, let me give y'all something right here. Now, this is what I'm going to tell y'all. And I, I I don't hate to say it. I don't hate to say it because I'm all about building niggas, not destroying niggas. Talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I hate to say this. but See, he'll go he'll go in on you. But, you know, that's not really what he be trying to do. He definitely, he just be trying to call it like he said. He see potential that he going to build, not destroy. But, but, but I love to see it. I, I love to see it. That right there? 
That's T.T. Naughty. Yeah. That's T.T. That's T.T. Naughty right there that y'all listen to. The nigga we been listening to, Naughty, for the last couple of months, the last three months, the last six, that, that nigga, whoever had him captured, inside his body, kidnapped him, had him in the back back there, wouldn't let him come out. Y- y'all don't kiss this. Y'all don't kiss nothing. I'm he said we hold our old self back. We nine times out of ten, you can't be you don't don't be mad at nobody else trying to hold you back because it really can't nobody stop your bullshit. Can't nobody stop what you plan to do. Whatever you're trying to do, can't nobody really stop that. They can try, but at the end of the day, can't nobody stop what you're supposed to do. Except the motherfucker inside you. Nine times out of ten, we be in our own way. Nine times out of ten, the reason why things ain't going our way is because we are not letting it. We don't got the faith or we ain't putting in the work. Or we worried about other people. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying y'all niggas lost. Don't stay lost. You can't live or you can't sleep over if you, if you don't work, y'all. You got to understand where I'm coming from to know where I'm at. That go with T.T. Natty. The people that were living in the body didn't want him out. See, sometimes you got to get in a place. Shit, let me tell y'all so how I know because that cage... It's when them niggas get sleep. Them cages is when them niggas die. When you go in the cage behind them cages, the inner destructions die off. The inner destruction die off, man. I, I one man, and I knew it was real. I know it's real. And that's when the one, the, the real you can't, you know, can come out. You start feeling again. Nigga, you get your good night's sleep. You're going to get you some sleep. You're going to wake up depressed, nigga, but that ain't nothing. But you get, you get some sleep, nigga, and you got three meals coming. At, I mean, sometimes when you just eat a bowl of noodles a day, nigga. When a nigga, some nigga just wake up and eat them a honey bun and college a day, nigga, I'm full. But this- Talking about when you be locked up, man, just even just a sobriety about, about stuff, just a, just a routine of life. Because when we out here, we just live so sporadic and, you know, everybody got everything going on, drinking, smoking, and everything. But, you know, once you get locked up, it does clean. It's going to cleanse you. It's going to make you sober. It's going to fix that mind. But then when, it, when you get caught in that cage, a lot of them niggas die off. And the real you come out. It don't take number 72 hours for the real you to come out. Believe me. 72 hours, nigga, you ready. Uh, what's it? At least you think you is. Within 72 hours, um, you gonna know right now how this time gonna do me. <laughs> you gonna know. It's- it take me the first 24 hours. As soon as you in there, you get like in that man, one man cell, you start everything hits you. Reality. Hey, whatever you done done, whatever you done done and got you in this predicament, it really ain't nobody else's fault. It's gonna fuck up with me. It's gonna get me ready. It's gonna make me better. Oh, I need this. Oh no, man! That weed right there didn't even do nothing to me. I'm pissed off. I call my weed man and tell him uh, I'm mad. You got some. You got some bullshit, OG. Come on, man. <laughs> but the naughty we listening to—that's the naughty we know. I know TT naughty. I remember when he first started doing what he was doing. I don't even know the nigga personally. Me and this nigga that had to sit down. This nigga watch me. He know what the fuck what going on, had? nigga. You know what I'm saying, me? It's just, you know, he's still a youngster in spiritual warfare. But he a badass fighter. He a hard, whew, he fighter. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. He, he, he's a different type of fighter because he know what the fuck going on when he can get back to him. When, when them other people get him in there, inside his body, they trap him down, they not going to let him out. When you go to jail, a lot of them niggas die off. They don't, them niggas is inside you, they die off. They know they can't get to what they want to get to. Thanks. Am I making sense to you? I'm going to tell you, I said this is a spiritual warfare. It goes with the enemies that live on the inside of you. When you get locked up in jail, let me tell y'all something. When you get locked up in jail, those enemies go to sleep that's inside of you and the real you come out. Man, love you, Cherokee. Thank you, Cherokee. I appreciate you. And them enemies come out. If enemies go to sleep inside you, you be sitting there, you be like, man, I feel good, man. I feel so goddamn good, man. Damn, I feel good, man. I mean, and then you wake up, don't then you don't get your good old two weeks in. Ooh. You talking about like it just be like weights. 
You know what I'm saying? You got all these weights on you, and you get in there and you you getting on less drugs. You 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 getting sold with your mind getting right. And the more your mind get right, the more bullshit starting to fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off. You feel lighter and lighter and lighter, and you can wake up and be like, oh man, like what what world was I living in? Really, really. You know, a lot of you know we realize a lot of shit that we be tripping about don't even be mattering. It really don't. Don't get you a good three weeks in. If I was naughty, I wouldn't rush it. I just, I just go with God's flow right now. But then I know, you know, say, but you know, he know what he doing. It's all in due time. But God wanted us to let y'all know. My daddy, my daddy, my bad. My daddy told me let y'all know that he did pay his tithes. Daddy say he paid his tithes. So when you pay your tithes, daddy let you know. He let he let some of them niggas kill out some of them niggas. Yeah, yeah, in the world, you hear me like, I ain't, I, I can't. Hit that like, yeah, buddy, y'all tripping, man, come on. I, it rubbed me the wrong way, because you'll go hard on this person, but you won't go hard on this person. Ah, you go hard on this person, he ain't got no, he ain't, he ain't got no quality, huh? Ah, man, y'all think they're going around on me, so I don't know, y'all still got no, so you can say, stop it. Hey, it's people, it, it, it's people asking. Uh-huh, how did you do it? Man, I keep my ear to the street because I'm CTE naughty. <laughs> I got a panic. <laughs> I keep my ear to the street, bro. I am this, this, regardless what everybody say. You know he's saying? And they say he, he keep his ears to the street, he's still tuned in. That means God have him took his connection away from him. He's still in the, he's still in his name, man. He's still doing what he's supposed to be doing. Not shout out OG Percy doing a reaction to my video. Doing a reaction to Hanky TV video, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 lit. It's TT Naughty you talking to. You got a clear say. You got hell when you got a clear mind, nigga. Because guess what? I like to the city. Our brothers by like to the city. If it's entertainment shit, I'm the biggest man. It ain't no bigger than me. I am the voice. It ain't no voice within me. Respect that. And if you don't, it is what it is. The numbers show it. You know what I'm saying? My, I got I got a strong I got a strong fan base, pal, and nobody and they mad because they can't break that. Hey, this, oh, they mad because they can't break that. You know what? Trey Six Hundo, hey, this the drop right here. If you ain't with it, you getting dropped, baby. Get with it before you get left behind, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, shout out my boy Trey Six Hundo. You gonna have an interview? Yes, sir. Let's get Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your big guy, Gorilla Zoe. I'm here with Trey C. Fundo. Yes, Stay tuned. Let's go. Yeah. What's going down, baby? It's Black Smooth the Barber behind every legend. It's a great barber. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Mr. Mike, don't trust you in the building. I ain't got no legend with me right now, except Black Smooth the Barber, but we rocking with Trey Six Hundo. Trey Six Hundo! Trey Six Hundo! Yes! Big, big, big nigga. Trey Six Hundo, nigga, in the building, nigga. Talk to me. I'll talk back. Here we got a Trey Hunter Six Hundo. 